Probably the most interesting to me, or I should say the one that sparked the germ of this project, is Ruth Schoenthal, who was identifying as German-American, but really trying to put her German experience and heritage at the forefront, partly because she left the country when she was only five or six years old on the run from the Nazis, and then she spent 10 years with her family traveling the world, going to Sweden, USSR, Japan, and Mexico before she was finally able to find the the right documentation that she could settle and study in the U.S. So for her, leaving the country of her you know, roots and ancestry and language at such a young age and then being in a state of flux for more than a decade until she finally settled, I believe she was 19 when she finally settled in New York, holding on to those first years and sounds and flavors of her country and language were really important to her. And she wrote later that she felt of her life as a composer in exile. So even though she lived most of the decades of her life in New York, she was constantly thinking about her German heritage, especially musically, and trying to put that into the music. And I love this Fragments from a Woman's Diary, which is 19 little snippets of her life. You can really hear the German classical elements that we all think of with Beethoven, Brahms, Schumann, Schubert, all of these people. But then she adds her own twist, which is her life and her experience. So she has the harmony of a chorale in one hand, and then in the other hand, harmonies of something completely other. So she's trying to straddle these two different musical and cultural worlds, just fascinating to me.